Hi, everybody. It's Brenda. Um, this is kind of just an impromptu thing that I decided to do. We had an event last evening. It was called Healthy Snacks on the Go. And same event that you're watching right now. And as we're integrating into this new channel, um, this new platform on Crowdcast, uh, we had some more technical challenges. And I'm really trying hard just to settle into it and you know just try to learn from it so as a big thank you to all of those who did try to attend that event um i decided to recreate it because um, unfortunately the event did not record in its entirety um, so i decided to go live today and re-record it if you attended last night and you were attending in order to get some kind of attendance for pre-surgical um, certification, that type of thing. I am still counting your attendance. I'm going to be sending that to your facility um, next week. So if that's that's always a big question for a lot of people, just know that you will still get counted as attendance for um, last evening, regardless, because um, some of you were able to hear and see me, and some of you weren't. So. Regardless, everybody's kind of, um, I just want to tell you, I think you're going to love this session. And that's part of the reason why I decided to go ahead and recreate it because it is, um, it's actually really a lot of fun. This one here, it's um, healthy snacks on the go and fall recipes. And I also have a lot of other um, things that I'm going to incorporate into this. I have one, two, three other handouts at four total um, for you guys. So you're going to get a lot of benefit regardless. And I'll share all those with you here as we kind of go along. Everything can be found on our ProCare website, um, our support group page. It's under About Us. And I'll show you where that's at as well. But I just wanted to introduce that. Um, it looks like we have a couple active people here with me. Thank you for joining. I know it was impromptu. Um, say hi. Be Feel free to, to um, put any kind of comments in our chat box, you know, as we go through and um, we'll make sure and answer those. I also did a poll last night. Um, see, that's still showing up. So if you want to vote, um, I'm looking at potential topics for life events and support groups in 2023 and pick as many of those as you want, um, as, as you like, because I'm like wanting to make it worthwhile. We did a survey um, last year mid-year or something like that and maybe you were involved with that but we um I, I we basically pulled our patients um, in these groups and just ask you know what what are you looking for and so these are some of the things that kind of hit whenever we were doing the survey for those of you guys who don't know me my name is brenda i've been with procare now actually about four years um, i work with them part-time for two years while i was still working as a bariatric coordinator. I did um, bariatric coordinator job for a surgical weight loss program for about eight years. And um, the last two years, I've been full-time with ProCare doing events just like this, kind of creating content, um, doing education, just having fun um, with all of you. So, um, so, so excited to be here with you guys. And, um, you know, just thank you for your time, because I know time's a valuable asset for so many people we're gonna like jump right in i just want to kind of give you guys as much as i can um before our time time is over we usually do about an hour if you have to jump off at any time know that this event is on replay um so after this event is over you will have access full access to it um and you can you know fast forward rewind do whatever whatever you want so um, what I'm going to be doing is sharing my screen. Okay. So I'm going to be jumping back and forth. Whenever I'm sharing my screen, I don't always see comments, but I promise you, I will take little breaks in between and be watching those very closely. So, um, you guys are going to see me here, share my screen and we are going to go first of all to our handout. It's a guide actually. It's called healthy snacks on the go plus fall recipes. Um, again, this is available on our website. So if you are viewing now or you want to go back and re-review -re it, um, know that you can find it there. And I will show you how to do that here um, as at, towards the end of the program. Okay. So, you know, the big thing is, is I created this. I want to say I created this because for me, um, like running and being on the go a lot 
is sometimes hard, you know, being a bariatric surgery patient and knowing that you have, that you have foods along with you or have created kind of a lifestyle where you have done either some meal planning or prepping or having snacks along that kind of serve your general purpose is so helpful. Um, snacks that keep your energy boosted, help keep you satisfied, um, but also help keep you on track. So that's what we're going to be kind of looking at today. So the very first little snack here is we're going to talk about hard boiled eggs. How many of you guys have tried hard boiled eggs? Um, it's not necessarily something I take along a lot, but a lot of times if I'm at an airport or I'm somewhere where they already have them done up, to me, they're a great little snack. Um, they're portable. You could bring them for your lunch. Um, probably need just a little bit of refrigeration. So if you if you have like a little lunch box or something with an ice pack, that might be helpful. But they're really high in protein, 13 grams, and um, that's for two eggs. And just really just kind of have enough flavor in them that kind of um, fill you up enough. You can put some salt, hot sauce on them if you want to carry some of that along. Um, but by themselves, they're just fine as well. I like a little salt and pepper on mine. Okay, the next one here, dehydrated meat, meat beef sticks, and beef jerky. Uh, these are all very high in protein. I mean, basically all it is is protein. And by consuming these, it not only helps with, you know, weight loss because you're getting in um, the nuded necessity of the protein that you need post bariatric surgery, but it also proteins digest a little slower than carbohydrates. So it keeps you full for a longer period of time. And it's a great post-workout snack. What I want to say about this though, is you do need to be a little mindful whenever you're grocery shopping or getting, buying, you know, meat sticks, beef sticks, jerky sticks, whatever. Um, they come in all different kinds of meat. Um, you know, you can buy them in not only beef or pork, but you can also get them in like um, things like venison, elk, buffalo. Um, somebody the other day told me they bought some in kangaroo. <laughs> um, so you just kind of got to look at the package, not only the, the type of meat so that you know what you're getting, but also if it has added sugar and what kind of extra added ingredients. Um, if you make them yourself, like if you dehydrate the meat yourself in either a um, smoker or some type of oven or an air fryer, then likely you can choose, you know, all the spices and all the extra things in it. But if you're buying it from the store, you may have to be a little bit more selective. I'm going to do another slide before I check our chat here. Um, the next one here, this was actually one of my very favorites. Um, right after I had weight loss surgery back in 2013. Um, and I still, to this day, use this as kind of a really easy lunch to go kind of um, option. So canned chicken, tuna, or salmon, they're inexpensive, they're easy, they're very, very portable. Um, you can pair with crackers. Sometimes I bring a little light mayo and relish to kind of add in with them. Some Sometimes you can actually even purchase them that have it already mixed or that you that you can mix it yourself, like it comes separately and that comes with little cracker packs. It's by the section that has the canned foods in Walmart or wherever you go, probably likely the same. And the only thing is, is I will say sometimes office wise, if you're in a small office, there is a strong smell, especially to the tuna and the salmon. So you might want to be mindful of your coworkers. But other than that, it's probably one of my favorite sources of protein just to kind of on the go. And that's truly, it's just truly all protein unless you add the other extra stuff along. I'm gonna stop sharing for a second, Ch check the chat box, see if anybody has anything to say. Guys, please feel free. Let me say hi, let me know. Um, let me know where you are on your bariatric surgery, if you're pre-op, if you're post-op, that type of thing. I'd love to hear from you. Okay, I'm gonna share again here, my screen. I'm gonna jump back on. Okay. And going to the healthy foods on this go here guide. Um, this next one is a really fun one. And I feel like it's not only good for adults, but kids would probably love this as well. Like if you're looking for options for your kids to bring in their lunch boxes, this might be really fun. It also might be a great little appetizer. Like if you're going to some holiday parties and things like that. So basically what it is, is it's one full slice of ham, or you could use turkey or whatever other kind of deli meat you want it want. And basically just put on there a little cream cheese. You can use the low fat cream cheese if you'd like. 
and you could put some seasonings on it, add a little extra flavor, and then you put the dill pickles, you cut them up into small little um, sizes, or you can just leave them lengthy, you know, as you're rolling it, and then cut your sections um, to the size that you want. So depending on the size of your little bites, um, seven to 10 grams of protein per um, little bite. So you could get quite a few, and especially if you're early post-op, even a couple of these might be a great little snack. Okay, I'm gonna roll on here. Uh, meat slices, uh, cheese and crackers. So this is actually one of my favorites for traveling. When we go, we call them ATV rides. I live in the Midwest in Missouri and we have an ATV and we take rides all the time during the summer months. And it's one of my favorite portable snacks. I, we have, we actually uh, have my husband hunts. And so he gets venison deer um, every year. And we have a lot of that made into meat slices or meat sticks. And so I use that. Um, along with just some cut up cheese and I bring them along in little Ziploc bags as we go. Um, really, really tasty. But like if you're wanting a little snack to bring to the gym or maybe like a basketball game, um, football game, you know, if you're going shopping with some friends and you just want to put a little something in your bag, really they could stay if, if they're cooled when you put them in, probably be good for a couple hours. I mean, without refrigeration, but if you need something, you know, if you want to maybe put a little ice pack in with a little um, to-go bag, you could do that as well. Also really good for lunches, really. And that would be a great kid snack too. Um, mix nuts. I actually have a recipe further on down the line um, for a mix nuts recipe to add in different things. But really, these are one of my favorites. So I'm going to kind of show you my bag here. I actually carry along these kinds of things all the time. So you can purchase them. I'm going to grab my bags and I'll show you kind of what I got here. Um, they're really inexpensive and um, the I like these portioned ones like they come in like little bags like this because they they're carry around good and then they you know how much you're getting because it is easy if you're um, later on out from weight loss surgery like me and you want to make sure that your portion sizes stay on track. Um, this one here has 240 calories. It has 14 carbs, 7 grams of protein if you're looking at your um, macros, and 19 grams of fat. So it actually is, it fills me up, and it really keeps me in between snacks especially. But you could also use it as a little meal. Um, this bag here is almost empty because I used it. I just took a trip, and I brought it along with me. This one here was Power Up Mega omega trail mix and it had walnuts dried mangoes almonds cranberries and pumpkin seeds so just just some options like i take them whenever i travel like to the like airport and things like that because they're so easy and they go through the airlines really well hey i'm gonna keep them moving here guys and i got the next slide here for you i'm gonna jump onto that okay Oh, who doesn't like dark chocolate <laughs> or chocolate for that matters? Um, dark chocolate and paired with almonds or peanut butter or some type of nut butter. So I recently did some research on nut butters and there's all different kinds. I mean, we have kind that are made with sunflower seeds, like they're called sun butter, um, almond butter that's made with almonds. Um, and really a lot, there's also organic kinds that you can get. A lot of these have low sugar um, in them. Like if you're buying some of the more almond or, or nut butters, they're, they may have um, versions that have lower sugar than your regular peanut butter. I love regular peanut butter, but it does have quite a bit of sugar. You just kind of got to watch it and you just got to be careful. Really for me, a whole, like a tablespoon when you're talking a serving size, I think a serving size, maybe even two tablespoons, but I will say that I usually can do even really well with just a tablespoon. Um, it kind of depends on like your level of hunger, like tell, asking yourself, how hungry am I in before this? You know, one to 10, am I five, am I six, am I only a one? Um, but just, you know, gauge it by that. Um, but you could try pairing it with one of my favorite things is pair it with our ProCare's Dark Calcium Chocolate Bars. Um, and they're out, they're seasonal. They should be coming in. We're hoping January. Everybody's been asking about them. It's one of our 
fan favorites. Honestly, guys, people absolutely love them. I went to an award show this last weekend in Portland, Oregon. Were any of you guys there? Um, let me know if you were. Um, it was so much fun. And literally, I think 20 people <laughs> asked me, when are we going to get the calcium dark chocolates? And I've had people private message me and everything. Hopefully soon. We're, we're thinking maybe around the beginning of January. Um, but they're calcium 500 milligrams. They're 500 IU of the uh, vitamin D. And then they also have, um, they're all natural. They're kosher. They're all these good things that you're probably looking for with a calcium supplement. And they're a great snack. They're 50 calories. They're very low sugar. I think they're less than sugar. And then look here. Carbohydrates, four grams. Total sugar is two grams. So very low in sugar. Um, so that's an option. I used to keep um, a jar of peanut butter in my desk whenever I worked away from home. Now I work remotely, but I kept it in my desk. And then I kept these little chocolate bars. And I, in midday snack, I take um, one of the cows, the little chocolate bars and dip it in my peanut butter. <laughs> okay. Next, single piece of fruit or mixed fruit. So this is really something probably may already be doing it's something super easy but like a lot of mornings i'll just wash off an apple or um put a banana in my bag or if you're really good like when you get your grapes home you could wash them off and, and pre-section them into like little ziploc bags so that you can just take them on the go um you know fruit is just one of those things it's packed with so many different um healthy healthy nutrients and can support you as far as the fiber. You know, a lot of times people are ha have problems after surgery getting enough fiber. So um, apples, especially that coating that's around them and the actual apple itself has tons of fiber. Um, pears as well. They also, you know, when you're eating these type of, they, they do have sugars in them, these type of carbohydrates, but they're a little bit more complex than a lot of your simple sugar foods like cake or ice cream and things like that. And they help keep your blood sugars balanced, you know, especially if you're eat, pairing that with a little protein. I'm going to do another slide and then I'll check our chat box. Here we got Greek yogurt and mixed berries and yogurts and fruits can be eating, eaten together. It's probably one of my favorite ways to pair. Um, this picture here, there's bananas, we have strawberries and we have avocado, but you could add whatever you want. Um, I've added uh, mixed berries to mine before. I've added um, trying to think of anything else that's not in here. Apples. Really, it's just a great way to kind of get your fruit in, but also um, get some protein as well. And a lot of people will say that when you're picking out yogurts and you want something low sugar, you may want to look more at the brands that have the, I'm trying to think, Greek yogurts, um, because they they typically have a little bit more protein and they have less sugar usually than a lot of the other, other brands, other types of yogurts. So that might be something to look at. You know, uh, yogurts do have probiotics and prebiotics in them. Both help support uh, that healthy colony of microorganisms also can help um, support, you know, the, those help support um, bloat to prevent bloating or constipation or even weight loss, the, the pre and post. -blo. I don't know why I'm getting tongue dyed. <laughs> the prebiotics and the probiotics. So um, that's that's a great selection. Now, sometimes, too, another great option, which is going to be one of the next slides here down, is cottage cheese. And you can pair that also with some mixed fruit as well. It was one of my favorite things post-surgery because, you know, you know, early on, you may not be able to eat fruit right away. I know for me, I think it was six weeks out, depending on your program, but when you are able to. Cottage cheese was one of my staples right after surgery because you can, most of the time, once you move to a full liquid diet, you can eat that. Um, here we got cantaloupe wrapped in prosciutto. So this may be a fun little holiday dish. If you can find cantaloupe, I know it's seasonal and we're kind of moving out of that season, but it's great. It's a great little fun dish to kind of... Um, provide as an appetizer, but it also could be just great little snack to bring along if you're traveling or if you're wanting to go to a holiday party or something and you're wanting something for yourself. Um, here we have it with some basil to kind of make it look pretty. You could also put it on top of the salad. Um, 
Also, you could pair it with figs and pears as well. So those are just some, some cool little ideas. I'm going to stop sharing for just a second. Check our chat box. Um, feel free to ask questions. Oh, hello, Tamea. I hope I'm saying your name right. Glad you're here. Thank you for saying hi. Um, I'm also going to just check to make sure there's no q and I don't see anything, but feel free to, to put stuff there too as well. I'll be checking both the chat box and the Q&A. Okay. I'm going to share my screen again, guys, and we're going to jump on to some more ideas for healthy snacks on the go. Here we go. Pears and ricotta cheese. Um, this is actually placed, like this little recipe here, you might call it, is placed on bresquita. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm never real good with these Italian words and uh, Mexican words and all of that, but Basically, what you're looking at is a little tiny piece of, of toast. You could actually just put, you could actually pair the cheese and the apples by themselves if you did kind of a dipping. But here we have it on the little pieces of bread. Um, pears have an, a lot of antioxidants in it. Also are really good for inflammation. Um, like if you have joint inflammation, if you have inflammation in your body, I know some people post COVID struggle with inflammatory processes. So it's a great food for that. You can also sprinkle, sprinkle it with like nuts or cinnamon. Um, just, and then over, you can also even pour just a tiny bit of honey if you wanted a little extra added sweetness on there too. Okay, I'm gonna kind of move on to the next one. Frozen grapes, who's tried these? Oh, they're so good. Um, so basically what you do, guys, if you haven't ever tried this, you can use red grapes, you can use green grapes, um, whatever type. I like the seedless, preferably, just don't have to worry about like crunching into a seed. But basically all you do is you wash them and then you kind of let them dry just a little bit. And then you actually put them in a Ziploc bag and place them in the freezer or vacuum pack bag. And they're incredibly easy. You just pull them out whenever you're ready to go. You can do them in single serving bags, like little tiny quart size, or you could do them in a um, larger bag and just take them, take out what you need as you go. Um, but they're almost like frozen candy. They're so, so delicious. Okay. Next here, we got cottage cheese with flax, flax seeds and cinnamon. Uh, I mentioned earlier about the about the cottage cheese being paired with fruit, but here we're pairing it with flax seeds. And you could also use other kinds of seeds as well. Um, just to add it a little bit different texture. And this here is called cinnamon flax seed pudding. Basically all it is, is just cottage cheese, flax seeds, and cinnamon. Um, you could add other flavorings in there as well. You could add something like stevia for sweetener or monk fruit. I know a lot of our bariatric surgery patients have been talking about monk fruit that's M-O-N-K fruit, which is like an added sweetener, but it's um, pretty organic and pretty natural um, without added extra stuff in there. So those are all great little ideas. And then here we're going to move on to baked or air fried sweet potato chips or fries. Now, depending on your program, some programs will recommend potatoes and sweet potatoes. Some won't. Um, they do have a little bit more carbohydrates in them, but, you know, balanced meal, whenever you're looking at what you're eating, in my opinion, it's great to kind of balance things out and make sure you're getting a little bit of all the food groups. Um, it's just, it's really about portion size too. Here, what I've done is um, we've created a meal where you take a sweet potato and you cut it in wedges. Now you could do the same thing for a regular potato, if you'd like. Um, sweet potatoes actually have a lot of the um, vitamins such as A, B6, E, and C, and then also have potassium, um, manganese, and copper, and magnesium, and phosphorus. So basically, all you do is just cut them in wedges. Um, probably a little thinner is what I would go so that they cook more consistently and a little quicker, and then add your seasonings, add um, spritz them with a little bit of olive oil. I actually keep a bottle at home that I use to kind of spritz on the side. And you could add a little um, Parmesan cheese on top if you wanted. You could add um, a little bit of 
here we have some thyme that we've kind of sprinkled on the top of this. Um, you know, a little bit of herbs to kind of give it a little prettiness. Um, there's some pomegranate seeds that we've kind of paired it with here. Um, but you could do whatever whatever you like just to kind of make it fun. I found that one of the best things you can do, guys, whenever you're post-bariatric surgery is kind of start experimenting, trying things that you have never tried before. You know, try some pomegranate seeds. Try some... Um, Try sweet potatoes if you've never tried them. Try different other kinds of squash, you know, if you've never tried them. Yellow squash, butternut squash, all different kinds of things. And there's just lots and lots of little, little new things that you can try. And it makes life a little bit more fun. Um, cut up vegetables. So here we have, we have some carrots, we have some tomatoes, we have some cauliflower, we have broccoli. And guys, a lot of times you can buy these already in the sizes that you would eat at the grocery store, those four that I just mentioned, um, a lot of times you can buy them already prepackaged that are smaller sections. Um, I find that like cucumbers and um, the carrots, I'm sorry, the cucumbers, the celery, and the peppers might be a little easier to cut up kind of as you go, but they will last in the refrigerator for a couple days, like already cut up if you're deciding to do those. The other vegetables um, on the, the right side of this photo um, are, are basically ones that will last a little longer. Like if you've cut them um, up, I'd say even up to a week, what I've done. And I've even, me and my husband actually have even bought those big trays that you can buy that have the vegetables already cut up. So they're just easy. So it's all about what your lifestyle is. And, you know, if it's cut up and it's ready to go, you know, you're going to be able to eat it pretty quickly um, instead of waiting to, because if something's not cut up, how many of you will let it in your refrigerator and just sit there until God knows when, until you throw it away? <laughs> I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to kind of jump and look at, see any comments. Anybody has anything to share? Um, just glad you guys are here. Okay. And we're going to keep going. Um, so I'm going to jump on to the next, we have a few more, and then I'm going to share some other fun things that I have for you guys too. We have some recipes and we have, I think we're like halfway through on these. And then we have, um, some food swaps that taste so good. I'm going to share some things on a latte swap. I'm also going to talk about a recipe that we have from our Halloween recipes um, section. So here we have roasted chickpeas. Uh, and if this is something you've never tried, it's super fun. My daughter introduced me to this in my next slide. The next one that I'm going to be sharing as well. The chickpeas is basically you can purchase them canned, like in a can that you open up. And then once you do that, you drain the water off of them and they're already kind of cooked. So they're soft in the inside. And then basically I spritz them with a little bit of olive oil. I put them in the oven. You could put some sea salt on them. Um, you could put pepper if you wanted. You could put a little bit of garlic. That would be really good to cook alongside. And then you basically just put them in the oven. I'd say maybe 350, 400 degrees for about um, 10 to 20 minutes. It just really depends on your oven and how fast it cooks. I just kind of keep checking them. I like mine a little crunchy, um, but they're portable and they're easy to take on the go as well. Okay, this is the next one that I told you my daughter kind of introduced me to. So it's kale chips. So basically you take kale that you purchased at the store, you wash it good, you let it dry, and then you put it on parchment paper and on a baking sheet, put it in the oven for about 350 degrees, 10 to 15 minutes. Um, watch them really closely because they can burn. And basically just take them out. I would, I don't know that I have on here. It looks like I do. One tablespoon of olive oil. So I would spritz these with a little olive oil. You could put a little salt. Um, here we've used sea salt on our recipe. Um, but you could do whatever type of you know, salt that you wanted. Um, it just adds a little extra flavor or you can put a different seasoning as well, but it's kind of gives you a little bit of that crunch without having, uh, without having all the calories and, you know, greens are really a great food as far as giving you some, some really good wholesome nutrition as well. Okay. Marinated artichoke hearts. Oh, I love artichoke hearts. 
Um, how many of you like the Pasta House? The, it's a restaurant um, here in Missouri. We have them and it's been one of my favorites. I actually make a recipe called Pasta House Salad all the time. Um, in the Pasta House, in their salads, they actually have artichoke hearts makes my mouth water. I just love them. Um, but you can actually purchase artichoke hearts that are already kind of like made up. They're cooked. They're called, they're marinated whenever you purchase them in a jar. You can buy full artichoke hearts. You can buy pieces of artichoke hearts. Um, either way is great. They're, they have, they're high in antioxidants. Um, they aid the digestion. They're also high in fiber and you can eat them straight from the jar. So it's some kind of could be a take along snack. Like if you had a little jar of them and you just wanted to have something to pop into your mouth or you wanted something as an add on to one of your meals. Like if you're lunching on the go, you could add them on a salad because that's where originally where I started my love with artichoke hearts. Um, the next thing here is a trio of cherry tomatoes, basil and mozzarella. So whether you're making like a little, I'm going to call it appetizer, or you're making just a little snack for you to bring along, this would be a great one. Um, you wouldn't have to do the mozzarella, the basil along with it, but it just kind of makes it look pretty and it adds a little extra flavor. I love the taste of basil. Actually, during the summer months, guys, it's one of the most easiest um, for me, at least in my garden, easiest things to grow. And it has a long season. Like, um, Usually I buy the plants in May and usually I just now, um, probably about a week ago, mine just now are starting to feel the depths of the cold and they're starting to kind of wilt a little bit. Um, but I actually took all my basil for throughout the year. Like if you cut it frequently, um, you can hang it and dry it and you can have basil, dried basil all year round. So um, I do that with a lot of my herbs. I don't know if anybody else is a gardener out there, but I do that with parsley. I do it with thyme. I do it with oregano. I do it with um, some of my chives, all kinds of other stuff too. So those are just great. You can also pair this little recipe with dipping sauce and olive oil or like a balsamic vinegar if you're wanting just a little extra added twist. Now I'm going to do one more slide and then I'll jump over to the chat, see if there's any questions or comments. Um, here we have salsa and baked tortilla chips and, you know, you can make your own tortilla chips. So I actually going to be showing you a recipe, um, that you can do that. Mine are made just with protein tortillas, um, that are spritzed with a little bit of lime and olive oil, um, some other spices and put in the oven. We made them in Halloween. So we made them in little ghost shapes. And, you know, salsa is one of those things, too, guys. If you make your own, you can judge how much sugar goes into it. You can judge how much of the other seasonings. And so you can put exactly what you want. I like a lot of cilantro. I like a lot of um, onions and peppers and garlic. Um, I don't like a lot of hot sauce. You can moderate that if you are a big hot sauce lover, um, like jalapenos and things like that. I'm going to stop sharing, kind of check the chat box, see where we're at. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Um, I'm going to um, actually share my screen this time and I'm going to show you where you can find a lot of these handouts and things. I'll show you here towards the end as well. I'm just going to jump on there because I have those Halloween snacks that I wanted to share with you. So here we have um, the ProCare Health website, which I'll copy this link and I'll share it in our chat box. Um, ProCare Health Bariatric, ProCare Health, um, how I kind of fell in love with them whenever I worked at our the bariatric surgery program I worked for, um, they we actually sold three or four other vitamin companies, vitamins out of our clinic, um, but ProCare was actually my favorite. And the reason being is because of the price point. Um, price points were low, quality really high. Um, they third-party test their products when basically they, they test them before they make the vitamins, they test them after the vitamins are made, and then they third party test them again when they are arrived at our facility. And all of those results are always published on our website. Um, not any other companies that I am aware of that do third party testing on all their vitamins. So you know, you know what you're getting. Um, I'm going to jump over here, guys, where it says about us. And right here, this first little link underneath that is support group handouts. Um, I'm going to, the 
be talking about all different kinds of stuff here. Um, so if you kind of page down, there's so many different types of recipes. Uh, the healthy fall snacks is the one that we're on right now, guys, the link that you guys I've been showing you this one. Um, but if I jump back over, you're also going to find something called healthy food swaps that taste so good. And that's going to be the next one that we're going to be just browsing just on. I'm just going to want to open it up and kind of show you a little bit on that. Oops. That was that. And then the next one, this latte swap, since it's fall, I wanted to just kind of mention that. That's a fun one to check out if you like lattes and kind of how to make them. We did a whole segment. If you look in our Crowdcast channel, um, you can look for that episode. We did a whole episode on that. We also did one on the healthy food swaps that taste so good. And then I also want to mention here at the very end of our Halloween recipes, I'm sorry, at the end of our recipes is Halloween recipes. We just did a segment on that as well. And if I pop onto that, um, like a little ways down, there's all these fun recipes on Halloween. But if I kind of page down, right here is one on spooky Halloween chips. Um, all of these are linked um, on this specific recipe card. All of them are linked to a YouTube um, video. So you can pop on the video or you can just read the uh, ingredients. Either way, just make it fun. So I'm going to stop sharing there and just check comments one more time. Okay. And then we're going to jump back over on to the healthy snacks on the go. Um, and I'll kind of preview some of those other handouts here shortly because we're more than three quarters of the way through. Okay. So here we go. Healthy snacks on the go. I'm going to pop back and we're going to say avocado. Oh my gosh. Who some people either really love avocados or really don't, but it's one of those fun foods. If you've never tried it, you know, try it, see how you'll do with it. Um, they kind of scared me at first because I wasn't sure what to do with an avocado. Um, I never grew up with them. Basically, what I do whenever I'm preparing it, um, I split it length. I actually, I when you're picking them out, first of all, I like to pick out ones that are a little bit squishy, like when you're you're, you're um, touching the outside this brown part. I like to make sure they're a little squishy. Um, maybe even depending on if you're going to be eating them right away, even maybe pretty squishy um, because that shows that they're um, pretty done as far as the ripeness. Um, cutting them up, I usually will cut off my top of the avocado and the bottom. There's not much on the bottom. You wouldn't have to. And then you can cut them lengthwise like this. You'll find a big seed in the inside. So when you're cutting, you don't usually have, it's hard to cut through that seed. I would say cutting around lengthwise. And then um, you pull the seed out and then you peel the avocado off of the um, the inside, this, this, this part right here. You will not eat the outer part of the avocado, just the inner part and without the seed. And if your avocado is pretty ripe, most of the time you don't even need a knife to do that, to peel it. But if it's pretty, if it's not very ripe, then a lot of times you may need a knife to kind of actually peel off that. Um, I use lemon juice um, on mine because that keeps it from getting brown, especially if you are only eating like half of it and you want to put it back in the fridge. Um, I've, lemon juice or if you're if you're taking it on the go, like in a Ziploc bag or something like that or a container. A little lemon juice will help keep it from oxidizing. And the same with your fruits, like your pears and your apples, guys. Lemon juice, lime juice, and actually even orange juice will help with that. Oh, black olives, making me in my mouth water. I love olives. Um, actually, you could use black olives or you could use green olives. Um, either one. The black olives uh, are about 50, or I'm sorry, five calories a pop. That means 10 olives is about 50 calories. So just a little bit. You don't want to overdo it with these. Um, to me, it gives me a little bit of the salt that I like in my diet. And then also um, the green olives will also give you some sodium as well if you're needing a little extra sodium. So just a fun little snack to bring along. Also really good for pairing on if you're making a charcuterie board or you're making like a little appetizer, a fun little thing to have kind of as a snack sitting out. Okay, hummus and cucumbers. So this is a great little fun thing. You could actually, um, this this here on our picture, we have it paired with making teddy bears. So we have 
you know, some of the olives as well. And we have a little, a little cracker underneath just to kind of make it fun. So if you're doing a little snack for kids, this might be a great way to do it just to, to kind of jazz it up for them. But, you know, you can actually just take the cucumbers and the, the hummus for a snack by itself too as well. And we are paring down to our recipes now. Before we kind of get into those, we have a few of them. And I'm going to stop sharing. Just check the chat box. Make sure there's nobody else have any comments. Okay. And then I'm going to pop back on to the recipes section here one more time. Okay. So the first one here is a fall trail mix. And again, you can purchase these. Um, I mentioned like this one that I had, this Omega Omega trail mix that I got. I think I got this at Walmart or I might've bought it at the airport because I sometimes will do that. But um, you can actually, I went to Walmart last night and I found several different kinds there. Or you can buy your own ingredients. Like you could dry it, buy some almonds, pitas, which are um, pumpkin seeds, dried cranberries, um, dark chocolate chips, or you could use some of our calcium dark chocolates when those come in January. Um, you could use pumpkin pie spice, um, which is in this recipe, or just even salt and pepper, or you wouldn't have to put any spices. It's just depends on your flavors and what you want. And you can mix them up in a Ziploc bag and then just take out little sections as you decide you want to go with it. So you can choose the, the favorite things. I know sometimes whenever I buy um, different kinds of trail mix, depending on what's in there, sometimes I, there'll be a whole section of things I don't eat. Like I pick out all the things I do want so that I'll have stuff I don't want at the end. So if you make your own, you can always just choose what you want in there. Um, and you could put all your favorites. Um, now here we have a no bake pumpkin oatmeal energy ball. And we have uh, two cups of dry uncooked oatmeal, all natural peanut butter, or you could use almond butter or sun butter, uh, pumpkin puree. So actual, you can buy a can of pumpkin guys and open up the can and put it in there. Um, quality honey. And I like to buy it local because if you buy local honey, guys, it, they say it's supposed to help prevent like with allergy stuff uh, because those bees are pollinating flowers from around your area and it's supposed to help with allergy stuff. So sometimes I'll just take a teaspoon of honey a day just to kind of help with that. Um, also, you can put in spices like cinnamon or pumpkin pie spice and some dark uh, chocolate chips. And again, you could use the calcium little bars. You could break those off in little pieces, kind of whatever. We made a, these, we made a recipe very, very similar to this um, at the WLSFA conference um, back this year. Um, I did a food demo. I'm going to stop sharing for a while because I'll share, share where that recipe is too as well, guys. Um, we have some, a, a recipe that's really, really similar to that recipe on our website, kind of like where the recipe section is, where I showed you before. Like if you go to, I'm going to show you for those just jumping on under about us on our website, support group handouts. And then under there is a recipe section. We have some um, protein recipes. The recipe that I'm talking about here is this chocolate no-bake sun butter um, balls. So that's another little recipe. It has some of the same ingredients, um, only we have cocoa powder and we have um, chocolate protein powder in that. Now, whenever we made them at the conference, I actually used vanilla in one recipe and chocolate in the other. And I just, the recipe that I made with the chocolate, I just deleted this cocoa powder. So just kind of a fun little thing to try out again. I promised you I would copy this and put it in the support group. I'm going to stop sharing here. Um, support group handouts. I'm going to add here. Okay. And I'm just going to mention Procure Health does have two different kinds of protein powder that you can make those with if you wanted to. Here is the chocolate. And over here is the vanilla. Um, they come in two pound bags. Um, guys, we're in love with this product. Um, we worked really hard on it for about two years. It just released this last year. Um, how does it stand out against other proteins? I know there's a ton of them out there. 
Um, it does have a couple extras. We worked with a dietitian and helped develop what she would consider her dream product. We worked with Katie Chapman. Um, it has extra boosted immune support in it. It has whey protein isolate. So whey is one of those things that's best absorbed. It's one of the best absorbed proteins that you can get. Um, so it's a really high quality protein, 26 grams in a serving of one goop. Um, it has electrolyte blend. So if you're pre-op, you know, right in the time of surgery, right before surgery or right close post-op and you're needing those electro extra electrolytes in your diet because you're not taking a lot of other stuff in, it's a great selection for that. Or if you're an athlete or you're working out and you're getting extra, you know, extra sweat, sweat, and you're needing a little extra electrolytes for that reason. It's great for that. Also really low in carbs and sugar. This one only has um, one gram of carbohydrates and less than one gram of sugar. So great little alternative. I'll show you that is on the website here just a little bit. Kind of fun. Um, okay, next recipe. And I'm going to share that guys with you. Okay. Oops, I jumped on, we'll go to healthy snacks on the go. I think we have one, two, maybe recipes here um, left. Pear smoothie. So a pear smoothie is basically, we made this one with our ProCare vanilla protein powder. Um, what you're going to do is you take a pear, and this is a fall recipe, like when you're thinking about all the fun things in fall, um, a pear that's seeded and chopped, almond milk, you could use low-fat milk, you could use soy milk, oat milk, whatever kind of milk that you prefer, uh, low-fat vanilla yogurt, and you could use Greek yogurt if you wanted, or um, just regular low-fat yogurt, uh, fourth a cup of rolled or quick cooking oats, um, some ice cubes kind of adds to the mixture. I use a really good high-quality blender, you guys, whenever I'm blending stuff. Um, I use a Ninja. There's all different other kinds out there that are really high quality. But if you're wanting to do ice or fruit or vegetables, I would highly, highly recommend getting a really good quality blender early on in your weight loss surgery journey. Because especially if you are wanting to add supplementation like protein shakes throughout your journey, it um, just really does a good job of blending. Um, our shakes um, preferably, I like them blended as opposed to just mixed, you know, with just mixing them with a spoon. Um, I prefer them that way. Um, if you add frozen stuff into your shake, a lot of times, too, having a high-quality blender will be best also. Um, finishing up with this recipe, we also have some maple syrup. Um, you could also, instead of maple syrup, you could add honey or you could add monk fruit or some other kind of sweetener. Uh, almond butter is what we used with this, but again, you could substitute peanut butter or sun butter or whatever other kind of butter you wanted. It has a little bit of ginger, finely grated, just for an extra little splash of taste. You could add some cinnamon for garnish um, or pumpkin pie spice or, or whatever. We have this paired also in the background with some nuts um, and some uh, prunes, some different kinds of uh, frozen or dried dried fruit. So that's always an option, just a fun little thing. So I'm going to kind of go to the next slide here. I think this might be our last recipe yet. Okay. Um, dehydrated apples. Okay. And I thought this looked perfect for fall. Um, here we took five apples, Honeycrisp. Um, you could use Gala, Fuji, or Pink Lady, or whatever kind you like. Um, I like the Red Delicious myself. Um, we don't have those listed on here, but those are one of my favorites. Um, a little bit of lemon juice. Again, that helps with prevent oxidation of the, the apples and from them turning brown. Uh, a little bit of sugar or stevia or monk fruit or whatever kind of sweetener you want. Um, a little bit of cinnamon, uh, a little bit of nutmeg, half a teaspoon, and then um, a little bit of vanilla extract. So basically, you just slice your apples, you mix your ingredients, you sprinkle with cinnamon, place on parchment paper. I like parchment paper for almost anything that I'm cooking, fruits or vegetables, or even meat, because what happens is, is it cooks very evenly, and it doesn't stick to your pans. It makes it so easy for cleanup, because all you got to do is take that parchment paper and throw it away. Um, you place it in the oven for about 200 degrees. I'm sorry, yeah, 200 degrees for about an hour and a half, hour, hour and a half. 
flip halfway through and then continue baking until they kind of are the consistency that you want them. So that's a great takeaway snack. Um, I also just wanted to mention here we have meal prep containers. If any of you haven't seen those, we don't really advertise them fully, but they're fun little containers. They say eat me on the outside and those are on our website. So I'm going to actually um, stop sharing or actually I'll jump to our website. I'll show you where those are and where some of the other products that I was talking about. So when you get to the ProCare Health website, we actually have a promotion right now going on too, guys. Whoops. Products. We actually have a promotion going on right now. We have a bundle and save. We don't know how long we're going to be able to offer that, but we have three of our newest products, which are protein powder. You can choose vanilla or chocolate. Um, our mocktails, which are our calcium flavored flavored chews um, that come in three flavors in the bag. They have lemon, lemon drop, gin and tonic, and strawberry daiquiri. They're so delicious. Um, one of one chewable has 500 milligrams of calcium, 500 IU of vitamin D3, and they have, they're made with True Cal. Really, really flavorful, smooth um, calcium product. And then there is also that bundle is paired with our bariatric multivitamin, which is one of our newest multivitamin chews. Um, depending on what type of surgery you've had will depend on how many of these chewables you take. You can take one if you've not had surgery or you've had a lap band, two if you've had a sleeve gastrectomy, three if you've had a gastric bypass, and four if you've had a duodenal switch. Okay, and just to kind of give you an idea of what these look like, guys, I'm going to kind of peel one open. To me, they remind me a little bit of a mixture between a Starburst and Taffy. So they're very, very chewy. I don't know if you guys can kind of see this. Very soft, really good texture, really good flavor. Um, I tease, I've teased before on these, these programs that my son, who's 27, he's not had weight loss surgery, but he absolutely loves them. He comes in my office and I'm like, you can only have one, <laughs> but they're really good. Um, if you've not tried ProCare, come over here, free sample, put in your name, your address. We'll send you a good portion of some free samples. If there's something specific that you want to try, type it in here at the bottom. Um, if you've already tried our products or if you kind of want to just try them full bottle, um, some of our most popular are bariatric multivitamins. We have a capsule version. We have a chew version. Okay. And those kind of look like this. Show you that. Look like this. Um, and then we have ones with probiotics. So if you're wanting to watch your gut health and you want your extra probiotics without taking extra supplements. And then we also have a prenatal formula as well. For if you're either wanting to get pregnant, you are pregnant, or you've already had your baby and you're wanting to make sure your vitamin labs stay up. Um, if you've had a duodenal switch, we also have ATS formula as well. If you're looking for that um that package that I was talking about, you can actually go in underneath here. Let's see, I think it's under this bariatric multivitamins where we are. We just have to go to the next screen. And those two with the chocolate or the vanilla are listed there. So I'm gonna stop sharing for a second, check comments, and then I'll show you those. Okay, Tamia says, I love apples. That was my, that way, my fave. I received my samples in the mail and love them. Oh, I'm so happy. Yes, I would love, um, I'd love to know about the apples. Um, I've been wanting to try those again this season. In fact, I may even try them today. It just sounds so good. Um, and man, it could be a great portable snack. I'm sure you could probably, if they're dehydrated like that, I'm sure you could probably use them, you know, like keep them for a week or two. Um, I'd have to Google it, but. I know that they probably keep for a while and I'm glad you like your samples. Yeah, the sample packs are pretty big. You usually get quite a few different things. Was there anything in them that you really was your favorite that you really, really liked? Let me know. Love to hear that. I need to not eat this while I'm on the talking here because it makes it hard to talk and chew. But I did want to share with you guys one other thing here too um, while we're getting going. Um, 
Oh, by the way, too, watch for those on the ProCare website and our newsletters and all of that. Watch for social media. Watch for Black Friday sales. We have some incredible, incredible sales coming up, too, as well. So we talked about the chocolate, um, no-bake sun butter protein recipe. We talked about the snacks on the go. Um, the next handout here is food swaps that taste so good. Basically, guys, just page through it. We have some really good ideas. I think we have about 30 different ideas on here of different things to save you calories, like swap out mayo for mustard, um, order tall instead of venti when you're ordering Star Starbucks. Also, when you're ordering at Starbucks too, guys, you can ask for different kinds of milk, like low fat milk, soy milk, um, that type of thing. You can also ask for less the sweetened flavor that you're putting in it. Like if it's pumpkin spice, you could ask for one squirt instead of three. I think typically they put about two or three in there. So all of that makes a difference in calorie wise. Um, another thing here is cauliflower rice. That's a great little option instead of actual rice. So um, check out that handout on our, our webpage and um, check, see, see if you can find some swaps that, that you really like. Other, other little thing here we have is your guide to incredible lattes, getting a latte swap and what a latte is basically and how it compares to other types of coffee drinks. Um, how it's made. We kind of go through that. Again, this is um, one of the lives that we did in the past. You're welcome to check that out on our ProCare Health um, channel, which I'll share with you here shortly. Um, but here's a homemade skinny latte, but we also have all different other kinds of flavors, lattes on there as well. And don't forget about the Halloween recipes and trying out the um, this was spooky Halloween chips because we made them in little ghost shapes. <laughs> they were so cute, guys. Um, I had all kinds of like little ghosts sitting around, but um, there's a video here if you want to try that out too as well. I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to actually post how to follow us on our Crowdcast channel so that you can get notifications anytime one of these events starts. Some of you probably did that today because I noticed you were jumping on here, but if you are wanting to, if you're not a follower currently, know that you can do that. Oh, you said you, my fave was a liquid gel protein. Oh, yeah, I didn't even mention that. I'll show you guys that too as well. I'm glad you. I'm glad you said that. Um, to follow us on our podcast channel, the link here. Hey, we also download everything to YouTube. Not too many. It's a kind of a, I guess, a well-kept secret. We really don't advertise it, but every all of our videos after they're done, um, they are downloaded to YouTube. So we have a whole plethora of stuff on there too as well. If you um, have a YouTube and you want to check that out, you're also welcome to do that as well. Um, let's see, guys. I think we're right about time. Anybody have any other questions? Oh, I was going to show you the Liquicel. For those of you um, who are curious about what was included in her free sample. So if you jump on over to the ProCare site, if you go under products, then you go under proteins. Right here, this, this product is called Liquicel. And we actually have, they're actually like little single serving um, that you receive in the samples of protein. Um, it's a li concentrated liquid protein that has 16 grams of protein per serving, along with 2.5 grams of um, arginine, which is a type of protein. I mean, it's 100% USA collagen. It has amino acids. It has, all, I feel like, a great taste. Um, you can actually take these guys, some serving, if you go down here to the serving Serving size, extra ways, favorite ways to use. You can um, squeeze the packet and go. So you just take it and you just take it as kind of a shot. That's my favorite way. Some people will drink, mix it with a bottled water and have a refreshing protein, protein drink. You can mix it in tea, warm or cold. You can make it in jello. Um, we do have recipes available for that. You're welcome to contact me and I can give you that. I'll give you my email. You can drizzle, drizzle it over ice chips for a snow cone effect. You can mix it in your yogurt, um, vanilla shake, or even a chocolate shake, I guess, depending on the flavor. Um, and you can, one of our clients would use the orange and salad dressing vinaigrettes. Uh, here's the types of flavors that you have 
available apple, grape, lemonade, orange, pinch, mango, watermelon. There's an unflavored one that's just pure liquid protein without flavor. And then you can also get them in a variety pack. Um, depending on the quantity, there's different quantities down here and uh, different purchase options. So, so thanks for mentioning that. That's a fun little pot product and it's great for on the go. And we're talking about on the go. Okay, you put the grape is what I received and it tastes good. Yeah, I think grape is one of my favorites too. I think the grape and the orange um, are two of my my very favorite. I'm glad you liked it. So happy. Um, so guys, I think we're we're all in end here. Watch out for um, you know if you want to check out anything on the Poker website. Also check and watch for our Black Friday sales. We'll be starting those soon with some super incredible surprises with that so that's fun and um, my email in case you have any questions my name is Brenda my email is Hain which is my last name my first initial B at procarenow.com so okay well all of you guys have a terrific afternoon, terrific weekend, terrific Thanksgiving. Um, next week we'll we will not have any events next week because of the Thanksgiving holiday. So be watching for us the week after. We'll have a Wednesday event um, scheduled and um, I guess we'll see you then. So um, everybody take care. Have a wonderful, um, wonderful evening. <laughs> bye bye.